In today's video, we have a bunch of NBA 2K23 gameplay to go over, like adrenaline boost, stamina, dribbling, slashing, the bully badge, the dunk meter, delayed green, shooting on Hall of Fame difficulty and with a low three-pointer, and defense. So make sure to strap your seatbelts, grab that popcorn, because it's going to be a crazy video. Let's get into it. What is good YouTube? It's your boy Henry aka Double H back at it with yet another video and in today's video I have our second NBA 2K23 video this year. So make sure to drop a like on the video if you guys enjoy videos like this or you find videos helpful um, like this. Make sure to subscribe to the channel if you guys are new. We got a lot more content on the way. But anyways, we got a lot to go over in today's video. I'm going to be going over a lot of actual NBA 2K23 gameplay uh, that was recorded recorded by multiple creators that actually went out to LA and tested the game early. So shout out to some of the creators uh, that got this gameplay. Specifically, I'm going to be going over the adrenaline boost system, uh, stamina, dribbling, uh, the new slashing system with dunk meter, the bully badge, uh, how delayed greens work, shooting with a low three pointer, uh, the Hall of Fame difficulty with shooting and defense as well. Now, a couple things to know before we get straight into this gameplay this is all the gameplay you're about to watch is on hall of fame difficulty this is basically 5v5 play now because it's old jordan challenges game uh play another thing to know if uh I'm, I'm guessing a lot of people watching this are park players just like myself or stage players uh obviously michael jordan which is the player that everyone's going to be using in this gameplay is not going to have gatorade he's not going to have jump shot boost steel boost rebounding boost you know what i'm saying he's not going to have any of that especially with the dribbling it's going to be all of michael jordan Jordan Sigs. It's going to be Michael Jordan's jump shot. So those are things to know, okay? Because a lot of testers that did test out the gameplay, so the micro gameplay that we're going to be getting soon is a lot different in that we shouldn't judge 2K23 solely off the Michael Jordan gameplay because micro gameplay is coming soon. If you guys want me to make a video on the micro gameplay, drop a like in this video and make sure you guys have notifications turned on. And if you're new to the channel and you don't know who I am, I do have credibility when I'm talking about 2K. I'm not just any creator talking about 2K. I usually have a 90 win percent plus in every single 2k uh, i have thousands of game played in the park i've always made great builds uh the people watching my videos that watch my videos over the year could tell you that as well but anyways let's hop straight into this gameplay let's not waste any more time now the first thing we're going to be going over is the dribbling stamina and the adrenaline boost i'm not going to be talking about really like the logistics of the jordan challenges we're just going over strictly gameplay for this video okay so as you can see this is what the adrenaline boost looks like it has three little bars uh that give you three different boosts in every defense and offensive possession so you see Michael Jordan's dribbling up the court and he's you know losing a little energy but he doesn't lose any adrenaline boost yet until right there he loses one of his three bars and as you're going to notice he's going to oh, he loses another one you're going to lose a lot of energy very fast in this 2k compared to recent 2k so that dribbling where you're used to you know dribbling around spamming signature size up like Derrick Rose last year going left to right you know on the threes court spamming dribble moves for the first 20 seconds and then trying to take the two in the last four seconds it's not gonna look like that anymore 2k did a fantastic job patching left right a lot of the energy you are going to lose is when you're trying to spam those size ups when you're trying to run left run right you know what i'm saying you're gonna have to get creative with these moves and it's very it's gonna be very important for you to choose which way you're going because you're not gonna be able to have energy to go back the other way potentially you know what i'm saying now a lot of creators that did test the gameplay were saying that there's a lot to be excited for for dribbling and obviously the dribbling we're seeing is only michael jordan's dribble moves his signature styles so you know it's not a lot to base it off of but something that was also said was that standstill dribbling is going to be very good because on a lot of standstill dribble moves you're not going to lose adrenaline boost now this is a good thing because that means you can still get creative with dribble moves i think how you lose adrenaline boost a lot because you can see michael jordan's literally just running up the court right there and he lost an adrenaline boost you know i think it has to do with a lot of covering ground and trying to use the right trigger and going left going right spamming this same move you know what i'm saying i think those are big factors when it comes to actually losing an adrenaline boost bar and you only have three in every single offense and defensive possession and defensive players will have this too so it'll be interesting how well defensive players will be able to keep up with that i feel like a lot of people aren't 
putting that into the equation like defensive players are going to have this too so if you're one of those play shots that likes to dribble you got to think about that as well but this is definitely going to affect 3v3 and 2v2 gameplay park gameplay prime gameplay a lot you're going to need to pass the ball more your decision making on when what drill moves to do where to go after those drill moves are going to be very important now as you can see we're showing a lot of dribbles here i i after seeing this gameplay i'm not gonna lie a lot of play shots that are players that are used to the 2k 21 2k 22 dribbling y'all not gonna like this 2k if you can't adjust i mean look at how burnt your player is after you lose stamina as you saw michael jordan shooting that with red energy you're basically a 60 overall when you have no energy you're not doing no more dribble moves you're gonna start picking up the ball you're gonna be slow as heck and even right there that was a solid move right there and he still had a lot of dribbles uh, or stamina right left so i think the big thing is for 2k23 is decision making what drill moves you should be doing standstill dribbling passing those are going to be very important it's going to take a lot of adjusting for people that are used to just dribbling out the shot clock and i think this is going to create a big skill gap for 2k23 and personally i think it's a huge w so i mean look at the dribbling right here you can he, he had three bars for most of that possession and he's still going so there's definitely going to be holes there's definitely going to be ways for good dribblers that know what they're doing to still be able to get open and win their games the good players will always adjust anyways let's move on to the next thing now here goes some slashing gameplay as well now in the last video by the way make sure to watch the last video because we talked about a lot of this stuff as well um we talked about the bully badge we talked about how strength is going to be important uh and all that good stuff right there now stuff to note is that the dunk controls especially if you play 2k22 next gen are gonna be a lot different in nba 2k23 apparently if you just pull down the right stick the dunk meter isn't just gonna pop up every time like it did in 2k22 next gen there's gonna be completely different controls that a lot of creators were saying that tested the game were very confusing at first and that you're gonna have to learn where you have to go like up down diagonal down you got to do all this extra stuff but another thing i talked about in my last video was that the michael jordan layup package is very overpowered and what you're going to see in this gameplay is that that is very true the michael jordan layup package goes crazy now i don't know if this michael jordan version had that exact layup package that we're going to be getting in the park and as you can see right there hop steps are back that was a hop step they're probably not going to be as overpowered as they were in 2k20 or anything euro steps are back too just uh probably not as overpowered as they were in 2k19 as well but once again they are going to be useful i feel like hop steps and euro steps weren't that useful and look at right there look at this clip right here this is that bully badge we're talking about i don't know what level or tier jordan has bully badge on but he pushes that dude out the way and this is north carolina jordan so i don't think his bully badge or strength is too high so imagine someone like Giannis, or look at that layup package right there as well imagine someone like Giannis, or someone with hall of fame bully badge or someone with like a 90 strength dude they are going to be throwing those little play shot builds to the floor for easy layups it is it is going to be crazy how important strength is going to be this year and just look at this gameplay yo michael jordan's layup package is the real deal i mean how how did that shot go in that's kind of wild but anyways body up animations bully animations are going to be crazy there goes the dunk meter right there like i said it's going to be a lot harder to control a lot different controls than it was in 2k22 next gen i also they also changed the dunk meter as you can see in, in 2k22 next gen it was that like right stick i th now it's just like a regular like shot meter almost which i think is better you see green's a dunk right there posterizing dunk yeah that was fire i gotta lie i'm excited I, what i'm seeing right now is looking nice it's looking like a lot of attributes that didn't matter in the past are gonna matter and it's gonna create crazy balanced gameplay and i'm excited for that i mean oh it's gonna be good bro because you really can't this is gonna affect 2v2 and 3v3 gameplay a lot i mean you can't just come out here with a six foot six two play shot and expect to play defense you know at all you know what i'm saying you're gonna get destroyed so oh i cannot wait but anyways let's move on to the next topic now we're going to be going over shooting for nba 2k23 now all the difficulty you're seeing on or the gameplay you're seeing on your screen uh difficulty was on hall of fame okay now a lot of people that tested the game they were all saying how they can't explain the shooting but it's like perfect they love the shooting they love it they think it's balanced now they were all saying too that michael jordan's jump shot was very slow 
and they don't obviously we can't see micro gameplay until tomorrow i'm gonna be posting about that as well so make sure to drop a like and subscribe for that but they can't post micro gameplay yet but what they were saying was once you get your jump shot for micro you put your speed down and you get your release down it is very easy to shoot if you are a good player and they also said if you shoot a lot of whites you're done for in 2k23 you're not gonna be making shots you're gonna have to green your shots to make your shots and you're gonna be very 50 if you're gonna be relying on white and keep in mind we've heard a lot of things from 2k and mike wang that shooting's gonna be a lot harder than 2k22 and some people are worried about going with a lower three-pointer i'm gonna be the tester for that i'm thinking about going with a low three-pointer especially after hearing what people are saying once you get your jump shot down you should be good to go i think i can do it i'm not scared of this low three-pointer not working i'm gonna try it out so y'all gonna see that but anyways yeah this was just some shooting clips right here for you guys um i mean it is michael jordan's jump shot so it is slower and the greens are delayed i don't know if y'all noticed that there's still gonna be green animations in the game also i've noticed that in this gameplay that post phase just like mike wang said were op are actually looking pretty nice i don't know if you guys remember post hop shots from 2k19 but it's looking like at least for them post scores that might be the move for y'all anyways let me know what you guys think about the green the delayed greens everybody that tested it out said they like it they like the suspensefulness of it i don't know how i feel about it yet i'm gonna have to play the game for myself but let me know what you think about that in the comments now lastly defense there was like no defensive clips except for a couple defensive animations but people were saying the shot contest system was very good if you're in the face it's gonna be a heavily you know you're gonna get the right contest i feel like last year it really wasn't like that but hopefully this year especially if you have strength you pick the right stats it is going to be good anyways y'all that's gonna do it for the 2k23 gameplay today uh we're probably gonna get some micro gameplay soon if you guys want me to make a video on that recap everything go over all the gameplay what to look for what not to look for what's good what's bad what to worry about what not to worry about drop a like on this video and subscribe to the channel and turn on notifications so you can see as soon as i make and upload that video anyways y'all let me know all your thoughts down below i'm gonna be reading a bunch of comments and it's been your boy henry aka double h and i'm out of here man peace